Good afternoon, this is uh, Jim Small, President for the St. Louis Astronomical Society, and we're going to talk about the St. Louis Library Telescope Program, and specifically the Sunspotter Program, where this Sunspotter Telescope can be checked out to schools uh, for use by teachers in a school setting. So the Sunspotter Telescope is designed as a projection system to produce about a three and a quarter inch image of the sun onto a sheet of paper. You could draw it from there if you like, or if you can use it for viewing. Um, the idea is you get a nice white light projection of the sun. If there are sunspots, etc., that are on the sun's surface, you can see those clearly. And that's, that's the main purpose for this uh, telescope, is to view the sun through white light imaging um, directly by projection. To use your sun spotter, you need a good table, or you can set it on the ground if you like. It'll come in the box like this, and you can pull the triangle portion out. You can pull a cradle out. And then you want to set it up so that the cradle is pointing more or less toward the sun. And then the triangle goes in the cradle like this with the lens facing toward the sun. So the stick coming out of the top of the scope here is a gnomon. Gnomon is a stick designed to let you see where the shadow is. And you want to set up the gnomon so that the shadow basically disappears. When it's perfectly lined up like that so there's no shadow sticking out, then you're very close to where you should be. So once you have the image close with the gnomon, then you'll see a little image of the sun in the aiming circles. And when you put it in the center of the aiming circle, the image of the sun will appear on the screen. If the image isn't really crisp, you can also come in and focus the image. There's a helical focuser down here. So the very outer portion of this lens up here will focus the sun. You can also be fooled about the image. The image comes through this lens. And then it may hit this mirror first and produce an image right on the paper. But that's not going through the whole system. That's not as big as it should be. Notice it's pretty small. And notice also on the gnomon, the shadow isn't zero. And so this is not pointed at the right place. Watch what happens to the image as I put the gnomon back to zero. So that will go off screen. And then the real image will appear once you get it centered in the circle. And there's the real image. So notice how large the real image is compared to the fake image before. Uh, in the real image, it hits this, this mirror, then this mirror, and then one up top, and then through the lens that's up here in the top of the triangle. So when you put the sunspotter away, obviously, you can't carry it by the handle. It needs to be locked in place, and you just line it up, and then screw this in when it gets to the hole to lock it to the cradle. So if you're not using the sunspotter between classes, etc., and you want to protect it, you can put the cover over it, and then you can carry it by the handle without any problems. To put the sunspotter back in the box, release the lock mechanism if you have it locked, or if it's already unlocked, that's fine. The cradle goes in first. Long side of the cradle goes over here, like that. And then the sunspotter itself, there's a notch for the handle up here in the box, goes in like that. 